Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Mike Pyle. And, uh, Mike, you've got a fight on Saturday night. You're taking on Rory McDonald. What do you make of him? He's such, got a lot of buzz around him being so young and being so talented. Oh, uh, he's got a lot of buzz, you know, but I don't pay attention to that. You know, he's just another fighter that's in my way trying to get to that title. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm not here to be on TV. I want the title. I want it now. I'm, you know, I'm making my way through, and he's just he's just in my way. Um, he's got a lot to learn. Um, he's not really going to learn other than how to take another loss with me. That's it. He was impressive, though, at 129 in Toronto with all the suplexes. Now, he was impressive against a 155-pound fighter? Is that what you're saying? Point taken. Right. You don't think he's ready to move up to where the men are playing, huh? Not with me. He might be ready for some of the other, but not me. Yeah, no, you're very no, well known for the fact that you were one of the only people, or the only person, to submit John Fitch. Where do you see yourself, though, in the, in the welterweight picture, and, and when do you think you are going to get that title shot? Because John was so positioned to be the number one contender, and, and he hasn't gotten his chance yet. Yeah. Uh, well, if anything, I think John, more than anybody, deserves a shot at that title again. Um, but I, I, where, where I stand after this, after this uh, victory, I don't know. Um, I plan on just finding out about it maybe while I'm on a river fishing somewhere. Um, but right now it's Roy McDonald. I have to, I have to, I gotta, I gotta dispose of him before I can even think five seconds past him. So. Yeah, let's talk about the fact that you do have a lot more experience than he does. What do you think that that brings to you in, in you know, in an, in a competitive fight and in, in terms of brain readiness, mental preparedness, and just physical preparedness? Yeah, I think, you know, just, just overall, any, any time that you're more experienced than anybody else at, at anything, the odds are you've got a greater chance of being better at it. Uh, that's just the way it is. That's just how it is, you know. Uh, I believe that, you know, when certain uh, occasions rise in, in, the, in the ring that I won't have to think about it. I, I'll just do it. You know, it's not a thought process for me anymore. I've, I've been there and done it so many times that uh, my react I'm just going to rely on my reactions and my instincts as a, as, as a very, very seasoned fighter. And uh, that, that's what I'm going to ride on the whole way. Although sometimes they come in with that, they don't know better, and then all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Like there's like youthful innocence sometimes, which can be really surprising. Well, that's, if that, if that plays into my hands, that's perfect, because I have, I have a ton of those guys at the gym that are very eager and, and make all the small mistakes that, you know, the, the old bulls don't make. And uh, so I'm the old bull in this, and I got the young eager bull trying to uh, come in and take my spot. I'm just going to outwit them and outhit them. Actually, that brings up a good point, but he's so well known for training with GSP for Oz. The, see, that's what I wanted to talk about. He's well known for training with, with, with GSP, that's for sure. Um, okay, should I go on with the list of guys that I train with that should make should rub off on me? And No, I'm not even going to go there. Uh, just because I trained with Randy Couture, the legend of this sport, don't mean I'm going to be able to go in and wrestle like him, not or Gray Maynard or strike like Martin Campman or all of these great studs that I have in my, you know, I, if, I mean, if that's the only thing you got to throw around to make yourself feel better that you train with GSP, which probably ain't there half the time because he's a very busy man. Um, I don't buy into it. I got you on that one. Now, you are known for acting as well. You were in Universal Soldier, the, re the reboot of it. It's funny because recently I spoke with Dean Devlin, who wrote the, the original one. I mean, yeah. yeah, right. Great guy. So is that something that you would see yourself doing more after MMA, kind of doing more acting and, and exploring that? Yeah, because all those punches are fake. <laughs> totally. What I'm doing right now is real. And damn, it hurts. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm trying to get my foot in the door of that. But, you know, the, the Hollywood thing is, is tough. And, uh, you know, it takes a lot of dedication. And so does UFC. And UFC is, you know, my, my career in fighting is definitely first and foremost. But, uh, yeah, what I, I'd love to be, you know, a full-time actor. Um, that would be fun. I like it. Well, and it's also good to know they say that it's great when you can teach a real fighter how to act because you guys will, you know, really won't hurt somebody. You'll know what you're actually doing. Um, w was Jean Claude cool? Did, can that guy really fight? Yeah, Jean Claude was cool. Um, can he really fight? I would doubt it. Yeah. But he can do a split like crazy. But he can, he can, you know, look good on the camera. Um, I mean, you never know. He might be able to spin kick somebody right out, but. Who knows? Uh, great guy. You know, was very, very, very cool. Invited me back to his trailer, have some tea and talk, and you know, let me know he was friends with Crow Cop and, you know, trained with Crow Cop and, you know, and things like that. So it was, it, it was a cool experience. You know, I, I was a huge, huge Bloodsport fan. Me and my dad would watch Bloodsport at least once a week. 
we love the movie, you know, and then get to sit down in a trailer, you know, and chop it up with, 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 with the man. It's pretty damn cool. Very nice, very nice. Last question, thoughts on Vitor's fight? He's also a teammate of yours out at Extreme Couture. I think the thoughts, um, my thoughts going through my head is Vitor is just going to, he's just going to overwhelm him. I think Vitor is going to be too fast and too smart. I think he's too well versed. So, I, I'm, you know, not to be biased, but I'm, I'm going to go for Vitor. I've, always, I've been a Vitor fan for forever, um, you know, as far as I can remember. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Vitor, and it'll be a... I, it's tough to call, you know, finishing, you know, Aki, uh, Sexy Yama, sorry. Um, it's, it's tough to get a finish on that guy, but uh, I can see, I, I, I see Vitor being... Victor. Well, that's the way to go, too. I mean, you don't usually go against your teammate, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's bad form. Like going against the wife. Don't yeah. do it. <laughs> Especially in public. Very nice, Mike. Well, thanks for your time and good luck to you. Thank you.